what Shirt Kings were about were drawing things that we saw, you know, in our community. We basically remixed them, we turned them into a joke because this became our reality, you know? So we put Mickey on crack. When times are bad, a lot of people tend to um, gravitate towards art. Art takes your mind to another place. You know, Shirt Kings, it, it allowed me to not become something else. Shirt Kings and Dapper Dan took your, whatever, what we were thinking in our imaginations, they put it into reality. The belt that I'm wearing here, you know, um, this, this style stuff, Dapper Dan was putting together on your shoe. Dapper Dan was putting together on your baseball cap. You know, the LV was on your baseball cap, on the pouch that hung from your neck. You know, Dapper Dan would use that where Louis Vuitton wouldn't. People who could afford it were going to Dap instead of Louis. You know what I'm saying? You might walk into Louis Vuitton and be looked down at, especially in the in, in 1980s. So you go up to Dap, you feel at home, and he's going to cater to your needs and take care of you. I believe urban luxury fashion started with Dapper Dan. And people wanting to aspire to wear these luxury brands that were unattainable at the time. And he figured out a way to make it attainable. What Dan did was basically do what we did with music. You know, we sampled uh, songs, looped them, and made, them, made it our own. He figured out a way to do it in clothing. <laughs> 